I think it's time to start. Uh, thank you very much for coming to this session. Uh, this is, uh, I have to read this. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to the 42nd Color Convention in Springfield, Missouri. Today is March 30, and this is uh, the extended but not extreme basic session. I'm, uh, I am uh, Masaharu Shiraga. It's too lengthy, so just call me Doc. Yes, that's easier. And your, uh, uh, our panelists, Mike Callahan and Paul <coughs> Barr, and I will introduce these uh, two guys and also myself uh, first. And okay, I'm from uh, Japan, and uh, I am the uh, area caller uh, near Tokyo. Uh, to uh, our train ride from Tokyo, not very far, but I have to concentrate on, on to my area, which was empty 20 years ago. And uh, starting from uh, 20 years ago, uh, until today, I could uh, uh, build up a six clubs and two groups for basic. And so I am calling every day. Too busy, but uh, JSDA Japan Square Dance Association's member and uh, some uh, committee members, uh, including International Affairs Committee. Uh, I call from Basic to uh, C2, but uh, you know C1 C2 is very rare for me, and uh, not very good calling. But uh, I still learn, and uh, advance is okay. <laughs> That's my. Level. This is my self-introduction, uh, self and uh, please uh, let me start. Uh, Mike, me, me, Mike Callahan uh, from uh, uh, okay, I will. yeah, Mike Callahan from uh, Rochester area, <laughs> New York. New York. Okay, uh, he is uh, calling full time from, since uh, '74. That's when I started dancing. And uh, uh, regularly, he calls at the six clubs uh, from Beat Basics and, uh, up to C1, mainly MSP and Advanced. It, and uh, he is, uh, had been uh, calling internationally in Germany and Australia too. And uh, uh, he is uh, schooling. Uh, school uh, students and uh, uh, <coughs> teacher um, uh, in uh, Monroe County of New York State. Uh, physical education program is um, going on, and, and how many years? Yeah. In the program is probably about 30 years. 30 years, wow. And uh, he runs a uh, square dance competition for students. That's, that's very interesting. And uh, Ward Bar from Germany. Uh, he is, uh, started uh, dancing in '76, yeah, and in Georgia, and uh, uh, started calling uh, '88, and uh, in the same area. And he was uh, in the uh, service, U.S. Uh, Air Force, okay, and in uh, England, right. And uh, he is now in Germany uh, with Julie Bar, uh, uh, married uh, to Julie, and uh, he is active uh, caller of Ekta. Active caller of Ekta. Uh, Ekta stands for European Callers and Teachers Association. Yes, and. Uh, he is a leader of uh, Grand Square International Europe, and I am the leader of Japan. I, I am working for GSI also, and so we two talk to each other very frequently. Uh, this coming Japan, uh, uh, he is coming to Japan this year, November, to help me in uh, uh, teaching the callers and the dancers. So it, it's good. Uh, what, uh, in, is there anything I have to add? No, I think you got it. It's okay? Okay. 
All right. Uh, let's start the uh, session from my introduction. Uh, you have a handout uh, of the uh, big letters like this, and here is I have a very unique dance program, extended but not extreme. What does this mean? <laughs> very very uh, difficult to understand, but. Uh, the, the listed 51 calls in basic, uh, initially for the entry level dancers for sure, to learn uh, the standard applications. It, this itself makes one dance, even only in the standard application, it makes a one dance program, uh, just like the other programs. Uh, for the dancers who have uh, finished the entry level stage, however, the basic call are taught in a certain range of extension, as you know, and depending on which dance program they are in. So this is the point. I don't know if we extend the call, uh, I mean, uh, uh, use of the call, what program that extension belongs to. I don't know. But uh, there is an uh, exception. Uh, in the case of um, advanced, it, it is said something. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me continue. Uh, on holding this session, it is implied that they, we should use extended basic or in our choreography, which may be uh, adequate for the mainstream dancers. But maybe within basic, that's up to you, and that your judgment is necessary. If one takes the teaching situation as aware that the dancers have learned the plus standard application in 40 lessons or something like that, the range of extension should be expanded to for the dancers in plus, advanced, even challenge, I don't know. Uh, without having a well-planned uh, teach order and work workshopping those uh, extensions for classes and clubs, it may be difficult for dancers to rate their comp uh, competency level. So we have to be careful. Uh, there are several ways to extend the basic application. This is my understanding. Let's see the page five to six. This is, you know, I try to make a, a chart to show you uh, what kind of extension can be done for each call. So I, I think I miss many, many uh, possible applications, but you can add on to this table. And from, uh, you know, the uh, number one to 51, so many various uh, ways to expand the uh, application. Uh, but uh, here, uh, there are several ways to extend the basic applications and uh, uh, apply the con uh, convention and rules which appears in the basic and mainstream definition book. Well, number one, passing rule, including left version. I don't know if you can uh, use the left version for every call. Number two, same position rule. Again, in the basic range, it's very rare, but still, it's there. Uh, number three, facing couple rule. We do this when uh, doing swing through, but not many. Number four, ocean wave rule. Uh, there are several. And uh, num uh, B, uh, utilizing all arrangements. Sashade position, that kind of thing, for various start formation, those are a, a source of the expansion. C, uh, fractionating the call into half or quarter increments. Again, this is quite difficult. D, left and reverse version. Oh my goodness, this this very, very uh, complicated thing. E, on the diagonal, or diagonally, or, num or number uh, three hand, or something like that, on the third hand, 
that, you know, that kind of application can be done. And uh, talking about the uh, D left and reverse version, somehow the, in the uh, advanced program uh, material, there is an expression like this. The dance program, each of, uh, each of those applications belongs to, is not described in a color, uh, this is not in the advanced, this is my idea. The dance program, each of those applications belong to, is not described in the color of dance program documents. Okay? Remember this. And uh, an exception is left and reverse. It is written in the advanced. The modifier left and the reverse appears in an advanced uh, glossary of descri uh, descriptive terms used in the definitions. And here, bold letter is uh, the call related to is uh, uh, basic. But still, you know, the left version uh, has to have this kind of uh, nature, a right pull back or pass, pass through action or passing action, uh, right arm turn, and let that uh, uh, touch something. You can use left to those. And this is different from reverse. Reverse, uh, there are uh, five calls we can apply a reverse, roll away, half sachet, wheel around, cross turn, front the wheel, circle to a line. And front the wheel, is already in the program, as you know, reverse uh, front is included. And also in the left uh, uh, modifier, left spin through or left square through is included already. But others, not. So how to ex extend the application is, you know, uh, you can know from these uh, descriptions. And my uh, interpretation of this is that, uh, you know, we have opposite, opposite words or a paired word. You can exchange that. Both males or boys and girls. In or out. And some more. Centers or inside. Ends or outside. By the way, uh, uh, mm, that's it. That's it. Not me. Okay, forget it. Uh, partner and corner. You can exchange corner to partner or something. Clockwise, counterclockwise, obvious. Th these are. This could also be uh, argued. Uh, examples are ladies in men's sachet, boys in a girl's sachet, something like. Walk around the corner, seesaw partner. I do call walk around the partner, seesaw your corner. The reverse. And some more hints on choreographic uh, extension uh, is, uh, you know, this is a little different from the normal uh, calling. And departure from uh, frequent use of the specific uh, formations such as a 2 by 4 grid might be a little extended for some uh, students, I mean, uh, entry level dancers. And one of the examples is square breathing can be intentionally utilized when appropriate. Good example is, you know, head right on and through and via left. If I do, I lead to the left. <laughs> That's the uh, tendency. But I don't know why, but Via to the left should push the side away because we need more space, right? And also from a, a agency formation past the ocean, the, uh, the outside people can go farther, so it's okay. But after doing a swing through and boy run and small bend the line, it's far apart, so it should shrink. 
So that kind of um, uh, scribalism can be intentionally utilized for having a new feeling from the dancer. And number two, mixture of circles, power, grand chords, and four wall chords. You can do them. The easiest uh, example is square circle four, walk around your corner, seesaw partner, boy star right, type of thing. From uh, square, uh, four wall chord to circle chord. Uh, there are many, and uh, I will get. Uh, uh, pass my microphone to this panelist, to panelist. But uh, here, any application which could evoke a laugh may be allowable as a gimmick. That's my understanding. The, other, the language in everyday use makes a big difference in use of supplementary commands. Like me, <laughs> myself, use a lot of Japanese language, explaining the movement. So, my dancer tends to dance to my Japanese explanation, not to the car. <laughs> so, I kept 20 times same explanation, and dancers expect my uh, Japanese explanation. <laughs> so, no progress. So, we ha I have to use uh, more frequently the English car, okay? And lastly, good color judgment, depending on the situation, you always expect. Thank you very much. I pass the microphone to Mike Keller. Thanks, Doc. Uh, first of all, I think you'll find that uh, maybe something that's extended or extreme to us may not be in other parts of the world. Okay? And I think what we're trying to do with this session is show you some different uses of the basics that we might consider extended and maybe Walt would say, oh, that's, you know, that's probably taught at our club normally and maybe we don't. So we're trying to give you some different ideas of how to use the basics, okay? By the way, these are all in your flash drive, okay? All right. And, uh, you know, most of us here call for clubs. How many here call for clubs, local clubs? Okay. How many here teach classes? We teach a class, okay. What I did is I took four basics, circle, half sachet, uh, trades, and wheel around. And I'm going to give you a few ideas of how to use these calls a little differently. And then maybe some of you folks might have some other ideas we'd like to hear also. Okay. This is all on tape, so we're going to be passing the mic back and forth. We might ask for a square for a little demo of some of the things we're doing here. Okay. Um, a lot of times, you know, we're calling along, calling, we'd really like to use a call a little different way, but we're so focused on the call and we don't think of it, okay? Um, we want to make it feel a little different for our dancers. So most of these sequences that I'm doing are pretty much very easily memorized. They're modules, they're things that you guys can use, you know, right away. I don't read when I call at all, but I do have in the in between tips, I might have some cards that say, an idea card, like, oh yeah, I didn't use that yet. I gotta use that next tip, or something like that, okay? So in your circles, you know, we all started answering, all join hands, circle left. And that might be the last time we use that the whole night, except for singing calls, okay? What about we said, all join hands and circle left three quarters and back away, and the bucket stirred? Okay, we're not using the three quarters, the quarters, or the half. We would always say join hands, circle left, all the way to home, LMA left, grand right and left, and so forth. But you can do a lot with circles, all right? Um, couples facing, it's very simple. A circle half is a right and left through. Head couples promenade halfway around, come down the center, circle half. Or if you're using your dive through or pass to the center, that type of thing, uh, instead of using dive through, you pass through, trade by, circle half. Pass through, trade by, Alamea left. Um, you can have the head couples promenade half while the sides circle half in the middle. Really things that we don't really think about, but they're easy to teach, they're easy to use, and they're easy for your one-night parties also, okay? Um, if you say the head couples circle right three quarters and then pass through, you've actually done the heads lead to the right. 
So instead of saying heads lead to the right, circle to a line, why don't you say heads circle right three quarters, pass through, and then circle to a line? A little different. Um, head ladies chain. Head circle right one quarter, then pass through. You're in a zero box. So instead of saying, you know, head square through four hands, say head ladies chain, head circle right one quarter, pass through. You're in a zero box. So these things are a little different things that you can use. All right. Um, here's one head circle left one quarter. I'll do a double pass through, first couple go left, next couple go right. You're in lines of four in sequence with your partner. Okay. So instead of saying heads lead to the right, circle four, make a line, pass through, wheel and deal, double pass through, first left, go next right, you're in sequence. Here's one that you can use, heads circle left, one quarter, double pass through, first couple left, next right, and then go on from there. Okay. If you have the heads lead to the right and circle three quarters and back away, you're in lines four with sequence with your partner. So you could use that instead of, you know, the old heads lead to the right, circle four to a line, say, heads lead to the right, circle left three quarters, back away, you're in lines of four in sequence. So all these little things are things we don't think about when we're calling, but they're easy to use, they're easy to work, they're easy to memorize. Okay? Um, this is sort of a gimmick. Heads pass through, sides pass through, all circle left, you're facing out. Face your partner, pass through, LMA left. And that's a way of using a circle when everybody's facing out. Okay. Um, the last one I got for the circle, could I get a square up here for a second? Just to demonstrate something real quick. No yellow rocks. Do we have to do that right? So we can have the, uh, and I got this from Vic Cedar's uh, site. Heads lead to the right and circle to a line. I'm sorry, back away, sorry, back up, back up. Back up. Okay, couple number one only lead to the right and circle to a line. Just couple number one, make a line of four. Who's couple number two, original couple number two? Lead to the right and circle four. And that man break, make a line of four. Okay, couple number three, lead to the right, circle four. Break up, make a line of four. Couple number four, lead to the right and do a California twirl and the bucket stirred. Okay, so these are real things that you can memorize very easily and, uh, and do. Give him a nice hand. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Would you like to twirl? Okay. You see the twirl? Was that good? Yeah. How about half sachet? How many here are calling the dance and you call a half sachet and you see people roll away still? Okay. I do too. Okay. Half sachet is a real easy call to teach DVD. Because once you have the right hand dancer slide in front, you can do it again, almost immediately. You can have the man slide in front. So half sachet, I call, I, I teach, you know, DVD very quickly, because it leads really nice into a lady's chain. Like heads half sachet, half sachet again, and then the lady's chain across. Or flutter wheel, you know, heads half sachet, half sachet again, flutter wheel, okay? It leads right in a nice, a nice flow call, okay? So I, I call half sachet twice almost immediately when I teach it. Okay, nice little get out, you know, if you have your zero box and you do a right and left through, okay? And so it's saying dive through, square through three hands, just say half sachet, pass through, grand right and left, because they're facing their partner. Okay, nice way to lead into a grand right and left. Okay, how about you doing a half sachet from a promenade? You're promenading, everybody half sachet, puts the man on the outside. Half sachet again, puts it back on the inside, keep promenading. Okay, so these are things that, uh, that people can pick up pretty easily. Now once you do your half sachet, and they do it real well, 
How about a half sachet, once and a half? Anybody use half sachet, once and a half here? No. Okay. All right. Is this something that's taught right away in Japan when you when you teach half sachet? Do you teach half sachet once and a half? Okay. Late. Okay. But half sachet once and a half is a nice flowing call. You know, if you use normal couples, the man's in the lead. Half sachet once and a half, and the man's in the lead. And you're a double pass through position. Okay. Um, one of the things that, you know, everybody says, you know, heads past the ocean, extent, heads past the ocean, ping pong, circulate, whatever. How about head ladies chain, heads half sachet once and a half. The centerman in the center now, if you can visualize this, I hope you can. Centerman pass through touch a quarter. It's the same thing as heads past the ocean. All right. Um, heads are right and left through, half sachet. Pass through, go round two. Well, half sachet, once and a half, all right? And let's see where I am here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Four ladies chain three quarters. Heads are right and left through. Half sachet, once and a half. Double pass through. Men go right, girls go left, around one. You have your lines of sequence. Can we get that square back up here again? Just show you that one time real quick. So let's have the four ladies chain three quarters. Heads right and left through. Half sachet once and a half. That puts the men in the lead. Okay. Double pass through. Boy go right. Girl go left. Around one. Make a line of four. Okay. So things that you can do with half sachet once and a half works really good okay one more square your set and this is a little different and you really the dancers really have to know your half sachet real well with this okay heads right and left through half sachet pass through go round two round two to make a line of four separate go round two to make a line of four okay all right so you got your lines of four Ladies with each other, half sachet. Men do a half sachet. Couple in the middle do a half sachet. Everybody do a half sachet to a right and left grand. Okay? So, nice little opener. And if you have a nice plus floor who think they know plus, this is a great opener. You know? Okay. Okay, you guys can go sit down. That's an equalizer, Paul says. Okay. All right. You normally do trades from an ocean wave or a two-faced line. All right. You can do couples trade. Heads lead to the right, veer to the left. Couples trade and set up a couple circulate. All right. Or heads lead to the right, veer to the left. Couples trade. Okay. Um, Lines of four, if you do a lines of four, pass through and have the couples trade, you have done nothing. They're still in sequence, they still have their partner. Okay, can everybody visualize that okay? You have your lines of four, pass through, and the couples trade. You're back in a line of four, but you haven't changed your sequence at all. Okay, so you can go on from there. Um, okay. Let me get that the square back up one more time here. Okay. Somebody else too. Someone else can volunteer also. Okay. I know it. Let's head, to, head couples just slide to the right and make a line of four. Oh. All right, make a line of four. Okay. Pass through. All right, remember if you're a boy or a girl now. Okay. Boys trade. Ends trade. 
Center's trade. Center's trade. Okay, boys trade again. You're back in the line of four with your partner. Does it change sequence? Okay. Pass through again. All right. And let's try it with the ladies starting out. Ladies trade. Ends trade. Centers trade. Ends trade. Okay. Ends on trade. On trade. On trade. On trade. You might say ladies trade. Oh, okay. And then you're back in line of four with your, with your partner again. See? Okay. So those don't, don't change sequence. In other words, you know, you can do that and then go on from there. Okay. Square your set one time. And let's do it from let's do some trades from an LMO ring. Okay. Element left your corner to an LMO ring. Now remember who the original in fact you gotta say to the dancers before you do this, who are the original heads and who are the original sides? Okay? Heads trade. Ladies trade. Boys trade. Sides trade. Who are the sides? Okay. Let's do that again. Heads trade. Oh wait a minute, you want to start again? No, just stay right here. Who are the original heads? Now I'm going to talk to the heads. Heads trade. Girls trade. Boys trade. Sides trade. Ella man left. Come back and promenade home again. And this might be getting a little extreme, okay? But it's something that is kind of a nice little gimmick to do, okay? The last call I want to use is, is called wheel around, which I don't think is used as much as it should be, okay? You got to make sure that the ladies or the couples take hands when you're doing your wheel around. All right. Any facing couples, they don't you don't have to do this, but if you pass through and wheel around, the same as a right and left through. Okay. Why don't we have the head couples promenade half, come down the center, pass through, and wheel around. Okay. Same calls right and left through. How about having the head couples pass through? Wheel around and a half sachet and a star through. You have your box, okay? Your zero box. Instead of saying head square through four hands, that's a nice little uh, lead in for that. <laughs> okay? All right? Everybody promenade your partner. Or take your take partner square your set. Okay? A lot of us don't use a reverse wheel or, or a, a promenade and wheel around. Everybody promenade your partner. Okay? All four couples wheel around and promenade the wrong way around or whatever. You can use this with your, with your basic dancing, with your basic dancers. Okay? Um, let's have the head couples lead to the left, veer to the right, couples circulate. Who are the sides? Sides wheel around, and you got a line of four. Now it's out of sequence now, so you would have to get your dancers back in sequence using the right and left through or whatever. Okay, let me do one more, one more here. All right, square your set. Okay, uh, head slide over, make line of four. Okay, and now this is starting to get a little bit more extreme, and maybe not. For Germany, I'm not sure, but all right, all right. Haven't seen extreme yet. All right, all right. Zero lines. Okay. The ends pass through. Centers ends. Centers wheel around. Everybody wheel around. You're back in line four again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Each couple. Yes. If you do that again, if you do that twice, ends pass through, centers wheel around, everybody wheel around, you got your partner back, lines of sequence, okay? A double zero, or a, a, a two, two times a zero, okay? So all these things, you know, some are extreme, some are not, but you really have to use a lot of color judgment for this, and especially caller call delivery. You gotta have people 
got to say, check with the, before you even start, who are the original heads, who are the original sides. Right. Uh, and these are uncommon extensions, okay? Some are a little bit more extreme, but they're all uncommon. And as I said, uh, as Doc said, color judgment is the greatest thing that you have to think about when you're using some of this type of stuff, okay? And never assume the level of dancers that you're calling to. I mean, if you go into a club and they say, you know, we're plus dancers, try a few things before you, you know, you get really into it. Okay. Okay. You guys can sit down. I'm going to turn this over to Walt. Thank you, Mike. By the way, you gave me a really good lead-in with your uh, sachet, half sachet, once and a half. Because I'm going to look up with dos a dos, once and a half. Basic dancing in Europe tends to be different than basic dancing here in the USA. As I understand that there's actually very little basic dancing going on in the USA. Is that correct? Yes. Am I correct? Okay. The basic program in the US is more of a, a teaching work. Okay. Um, as far as I know, I know of no basic clubs. And even the festivals do not have a basic hall, okay? They have mainstream plus or advances. Okay, I wasn't aware that it was that extreme, that there was literally no basic dancing going on. In Europe, we, have, we don't have basic clubs, but we do have a lot of organized basic dances. We have things like, uh, I have to look, student parties. Uh, Munich area, Stuttgart area, Rhine area, student parties. Average attendance at those is between 350 and 400. We have the European Callers and Teachers Association student jamborees. They have two a year, one north and one south. This year the attendance at those was about 850 each. All right. These are not all students. These are graduated dancers, mainstream plus dancers. They come out and dance basic because the program of these is the basic section of the mainstream program. So we do have some organized basic dancing and we tend to look at, or we tend to use the basics a little bit differently. We uh, do some things with uh, fractionalizing. Mike mentioned uh, half sachet once and a half. We do things like dos and do once and a half, All right, things like that. Uh, right and left through and a quarter more is real common. Um, how many of you use do paso when you're calling? How many of you use the classic partner left corner right, partner left to an alamandor? How many of you use anything else? What the hands went, oh, sure. Scott, yeah, I know Scott, but you do weird stuff anyways. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I know, I borrow yours. Not long ago, we were asked to do a workshop, and they asked us, they said, we want something different. We want something from VARs and circles and things like that, and it really had a scratch in our head. When I say we, I mean my wife and myself. My wife is also a caller. What we came up with was some stuff using Do Paso, but a little bit different finish. Um, can we have our square back for a minute? <laughs> You can if you want, I guess. Certainly. Now, before we start, we also tend to do things like circulates from an alabandar. Because an alabandar is nothing but two waves crossed in the middle. We do trades from that also. If we could have everybody start at Dofaso, partner left. Corner right, back to your partner for a left shoulder dose to do once and a half. Once and a half. There, okay. Box the net. Change hands, left to pull by. Wrong way, Grant. Mike, you're a girl. <laughs> and I want you to notice who went wrong, it was all the callers. 
Would you like Would you guys like a walk through? Ladies, you did just fine. Thank you. Let's do that again. Mike was the girl. Mike, you're a girl. This this was a workshop, but it was a workshop. It was intended to be a little bit different. All right, to to make the dancers think just a little bit and be fun at the same time. Do paso, partner left, corner right. Back to your partner for a left shoulder dosa do. Once and a half. Super. Box the net. Change hands. That means use your left to pull by. Emerald way grand. And normally we would have a swing right about here, but you don't have to swing. You can just promenade. You guys can swing if you want to. <laughs> Okay, the next one starts from a, a circle left, but I'm not going to make you do that. Everybody have sachet. All right. Do pas so, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, do pas so, partner left. Partner, gentlemen, you've changed sides. Partner left, corner right. Back to the partner with a left arm turn through. You're facing corner. You should be. You should be. You should be. Alright. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. That's okay. These are simple basics with just enough difference. And our dancers had to had to walk through it also. This is the kind of thing that's common in Europe. Alright? Let's try this. Heads half sachet. Star through. Square through three. Three. Do pas so. Partner left. Corner right. Back to the partner for a left hand mini wave. That's all. That's all. Left hand mini wave. Boys have a hand in the middle. All right. Uh, Trade. Now the girls have hand in the middle. I'm sorry. All right, I'm uh, no, Sorry, Scott, I forgot which one you were. Okay. Okay. Have you have you done the trade? Have you done the trade? I asked you to trade. Trade. Okay. Okay. I have to look where it was. Girls circulate. We do circulate from bars. Boys circulate. Now here's one that absolutely stopped. Even our European dancers. Look very carefully where you're standing. Mm -hmm. All eight circulate. Positioning is critical. Okay? And although it's not on the list, we use a nose to nose sachet. Simple reason being you can't say spread at basic. So nose to nose sachet for a right and left grand. Wrong way, Grant, sorry. All right. And if we're real lucky, you finish with your partner. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. Sure. Because in Do Passo, the definition says turn your partner by the left, yep. and then turn your corner by the right. Yep. If that is correct from here, then it's a full turnaround. Because we turn our partner by the left, my corner is there. I've got to go all the way around my corner. Uh, I disagree. But that's I disagree. I disagree. No, I disagree. The definition, the definition says, and I will read it to you yes. as soon as I take my glasses off. The dance action is left arm turn with a partner until facing corner. Yes. Doesn't, but your half size shade. You have changed sides. No. Okay. I, my, he, he, I haven't changed corners. Okay. If I, haven't, than, if I haven't changed partners, I haven't changed corners. That was my well, okay. But partner and partner are two hold up, things. hold up, please. Rep, can, can you and I talk about this afterwards? Sure. Because we only have a limited amount of time. All right? Everybody back home, please. We did dance these with our club, and they worked. Pardon me, I have to take my glasses off to see this. This is, what, this is a good example. And I, I mean no disrespect to anybody, but I see a bigger and bigger and bigger disparity between what you're dancing here 
and what we're dancing in Europe and Japan. And I don't really know the reason. I don't really understand the reason. Do they take dancing more serious where you are? Yeah. They partly, but why don't you guys sit down for a second? Partly because remember, our dancers are listening to a foreign language. They are listening to English, but it's a foreign language. Now, imagine if we reverse that. And I say to you, Guten Abend, ladies and Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren, ich bin Walpe aus München, Deutschland. Did you understand anything I said? Yeah. You did. I introduced myself. That's all I did. All right? Imagine if you were dancing in a foreign language, you would learn it very precisely. Yes. You would learn exactly what that definition is. All right? If I say to you, cast off dry theatre, that's three quarters. Okay. They tend to be more precise because they're listening to a foreign language. I think it's, it's not me. Gallery, yes. Don't mind me. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. It's an amber alert. Yeah, that's why it's, it's an amber gallery. alert. That's kid missing. Oh, I thought it was my hearing aid. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. So our dancers, because they are listening to a foreign language, just like same thing with Doc, excuse me, Mike, I didn't mean to reach in front of me. Because they're listening to a foreign language, they learn exactly what it is. It's not, it's a phone. It's a it's an amber It's yours. It's an amber alert. No, it's an amber alert for Montrose, Missouri, all of us in the area. Yeah. All right. Sorry. As a result of that, because they learn the definition so precisely, we tend to, to <coughs> not push the envelope with the definitions. We tend to be a little more creative because we know the dancers know exactly what to do. Okay. So, well, could it also... Well, 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 well. Jim Rankley with Kansas. Uh, well, could it also be the, as we were talking earlier, the disparity between you in, in Europe and in Japan, uh, actually teaching and doing basic dances, as opposed to here in the States, where we just use those as the basics only and rush to mainstream and in some places beyond. It could well be. We have a lot of organized basic program. I hate the word level. I don't like the word level. Basic program or basic section of the mainstream program. We have a lot of organized events. Um, and almost all of our big festivals, if they take place during class time, which is October to May, have a basic hall, a full-time basic hall. So that could be. There's more opportunity for our people to go and dance. I know there's a good bit of basic dancing in Japan. I hope you're not going to make me do that when I come out there. So. <laughs> yes, Mike? So do you guys use probably not too many pattern words then when you're calling, maybe just the call itself. Like, you know, when we say do a paso, we always say partner left, corner right, partner left. Would you say that? For my own dancers, no. I would say do paso and they know where they're going. If you notice on, on my handout, there's a, a disclaimer that says the helper words are in red and you may or may not need them. We tend not to use as many helper words with our lesser experienced dancers because they have a hard time picking out what's the call and what's the help. More questions? Take these home, take this handout home, get out your checkers, look at the definition carefully. <laughs> they do work, I promise you. We've, we've danced all of them just recently. More questions? Questions for any of us? We still have some time left. Does anybody have any other things like some examples that you would like to present to the group? What about asymmetrics? Asymmetric? Yeah. We don't do it very much. We don't really do it at all in mainstream. Occasionally you'll see some at plus because asymmetric dancing, one, takes a lot of help. It takes a, a lot of directional calling, in my opinion. And it's a struggle for our dancers unless they're very fluent in English.
uh, in Japan, we use uh, unsymmetric uh, co uh, choreography only for demonstration. In the case of eight people, it should uh, look, in, uh, look into the uh, same direction to greet the audience or something like right. that. That's the only place where uh, we use the asymmetric. Does anyone? Sorry. 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 Would you, anyone else would like to present anything that uh, we use? Yeah, Randy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Thanks your name and cut. And your salary. <laughs> yeah. Randy Doherty, Mesa, Arizona. Um, I was just playing with my basic group here this last winter, and I, I called Boys Separate Around One. I've never ever heard anybody ever call that. I'm wondering if anybody has or even thought about it, or is it legal? Is it legitimate? What do you say? Boys separate around one. From a static square, Boys Separate Round One. Oh, okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, I didn't consider that extreme. It's better than Lady Cinnamon Sachet, I think. Same kind of thing. Yeah. But when you then say heads do something, well, the head gent now has rotated to the side position, so they forget about men retaining their identity, so then you got the wrong heads going in unless you say new heads. But right. I took it a step further and said, Girls separate round one and a half. Is that the extreme oh, version or what? That's extreme. I like it. That's extreme. <laughs> Anybody like else? It. Comments, questions? This is your time. We have about 20 minutes. So, nothing? If you have, uh, I can show some. Uh, I have the mic. I remember that. Hey, uh, if you don't have uh, any idea to show here, can I take yeah, a minute? Do you need uh, a square? Yeah, we need square, definitely. Uh, this is a, a little tough, but uh, in my uh, choreo uh, sheet, you will see the yeah. diagram. Okay, This is a version of a ground square. And uh, I think you have uh, danced to Tony Oxenden sometime. I, I don't have to say the name, but uh, uh, ground square with slides through, something like that. So, but that that is you know uh, when you uh, walk, uh, approach the two dancers when uh, they approach, they slide through and back away. But uh, I. I think the grand square definition is that the term one quarter. So if uh, insert the slide through, then dancer tends to do another quarter turn. So I don't think a slide through doesn't work. So I try to use a pass through and turn. Okay, uh, very slowly we'll, uh, I will explain. Uh, head half sachet. Size base. This is the starting. Okay, uh, I would say ground square with a pass through. But whenever you approach to other people on the opposite, do just they, do a pass through. On do them. they start with a pass through here? No, no. Uh, the normal ground square above. Gotcha. Not take uh, so in the case of size. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, four steps only. Okay. One, two, three. Pass through and turn. And just turn. turn. So pass through and turn. <laughs> yes. He is butterfly, okay? And second uh, four beats, it, it, you know, gives you a pass through on the outside, I think. Okay? I, one, two, pass through and turn. Then, okay, now, the second uh, four beats, I, one, two, pass through, center pass through and turn. Yes. The uh, reverse is same. One, two, three, deep birds. We haven't reversed. We didn't get yeah, to that point yet. Yeah, count four. Yeah, next, so go to the next. One, two, two three, two, three, turn. No, 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 no don't, do, don't do that. No, uh, don't reverse is the normal the reverse. Yeah, reverse, just reverse. And then uh, one, two, three, 
turn, but and pass through is in the same time. One, two, three, and pass through and turn. Yeah, we, and one, two, three, three and, and, and pass through and turn. One, you turn to the static square. Right. You don't have to, uh, you know, side don't have to look face in. That's the beauty of this. That's really cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right? Uh, do I do that again? Okay. Yeah, let's, do it again. Uh, let's do it. Uh, side. Side house sachet, head space. Okay. Now, ground square with the pass through. One, two, turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, pass through, and turn. One, two, three, turn. One, two, pass through, and turn. One, two, reverse. Yeah, you just no more reverse. Turn. One, two, three, pass through, and turn. One, two, three, pass through, and turn. One, two, pass through, and turn. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Big <laughs> Can I keep the square? Uh, sure. Randy Doherty again. This is going into the deep water again, extreme, but it's similar to the grand square. Okay? Let's have the heads lead right, circle to a line, head chin break. Two ladies chain. Side chin, the girl you got, half side shade. Okay? Original heads work forward, original sides work backwards, everybody grand square. One, two, three, turn, one, two, three, turn, one, two, three, turn, one, two, three, turn, That's why the, the, that's called the extreme grand square. Go back where you were before you started the mess. You had the boys on the ends, the girls in the middle, right? Now, the thing about Mike was saying about how to prepare the caller to make success or get the dancers ready, I would start this off with the wheelbarrow word. Nobody does wheelbarrows very well, but if the two men figure out they're a wheelbarrow, would you join both hands? Girls, you, you guys watch this, this group because you, you need a demonstration. You girls, wheelbarrow, and you're going to... Nothing more than a wheelbarrow do -si do around these girls. They're going to wheelbarrow do -si do around you boys. Either push or pull. You're a puller, and you're a puller. You're a pusher. Go. Wheelbarrow do -si do oh, You're doing some extra stuff there, Sandy. You, you, you didn't no, keep the same so we person the pushing and pulling. They're doing it Colorado do <laughs> Don't change your face and direction. Okay? Wheelbarrow do -si do I get them prepared. No. So you just change your face and direction. Pusher, slider. Don't turn around, This is called don't change your facing direction. <laughs> no, that's all right. Okay. Now, does that have anything to do with it? Yeah, it does because it starts off with this type of a thing. If we say original heads go forward, you're ahead, right? Your original head, your original head. Yes. If you're going forward, you're doing the push, you're doing the pull, he's doing the push. So it feels like, we're not even gonna have you guys play until you see these, okay? Do the wheelbarrow, and after you make the first, after the first three steps, you're still turn in, aren't you? Now don't change the, the axis here. You turn in, the girls are gonna become a couple. And what's the next part of Grand Square? Girls will back up, boys will go forward. What's the next part of grand square? Turn in, now you're in tandem. Turn in, not out. And this reinforces grand square, hopefully. Now you're in tandem, walk, two, three, and you turn in, where's in? Girls, you become a couple when you turn in. Girls go forward, boys back up, here's where we're gonna reverse. Now back, no, no, no. Here's, now the boys go forward, the girls back up. Turn and face in, become tandemized. Walk by each other. Turn and face the center of the square. Boys as a couple back up. Girls as a couple go forward. Turn and face the same sex. Wheelbarrow back to you where you started. Ready to try this? No! You guys take a break. All right, right here. Who's the original heads? Who's the original sides? Okay, the only thing this really does is it reinforces the walk, two, three, turn, walk, two, three, turn. And every time you turn, you have to turn what? A quarter. A quarter in. This is in. You got it, Wade? Okay, you're what? Head? Head. 
Heads. Okay. Original heads go forward, original signs back up to start, grand square. Now become a couple. Uh, 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 in, back up. Now become ten. Turn in, turn. Now become a couple. Reverse. Become ten and eyes. <laughs> You're not looking into it. <laughs> I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. It's a person, my man. It's a person, C2, C3, or something. Can I get a couple? Hey, Ron, uh, Jay King uh, from Van Buren, Arizona. Jody, come here. Oh, just, yeah, just two, two couples. It's fine. Yeah, just two couples will work. Because I wanted to get. We were talking about wheel rounds a moment ago. Could you do a half sachet for me, guys? And so what I've been playing with is from lines of four, half sachet, pass through. Okay? Do a half sachet again, boy in front, and then wheel around. My question is, does that seem to flow good? Yes. Mm -hmm. It felt really good. Yeah. Yeah. Now for something to flow. I do the same thing, enter you know, ambidextrous. Can, can I get two more couples up there? I want to show you something. That's kind of a neat opener. And I think I saw Jerry's story do this. I'm pretty sure. How's your circle? Corner. All right. We got our square. Everybody, veer left. Everybody wheel around. Everybody veer left. Everybody wheel around your home. Okay? And you can do the reverse also. But when you reverse wheel around, who wheels? Okay? Everybody veer right. Everybody reverse wheel around. Everybody veer right. Everybody reverse wheel around your home. Okay? That's kind of a new opener. You don't have to have a real... But you know you don't want to do this with new people or you know experienced inexperienced people. Old people. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Old people. Else. <laughs> Anybody else want to contribute? Anybody have a idea? Sure, sure, Scott. Oh, no, no. Well, my girl. Well, this isn't really difficult yeah. because you can use helper words because we need a girl here. Thanks, Mitch. <laughs> He's got good skirt work, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so the idea is to work, you know, we used to do this years ago, we'd take our corner and set up a diagonal, right? We used to do that, Randy, set up diagonals all the time. So let's have the four ladies chain. By the way, my name is Scott Byers, and I'm from Sacramento, California. Let's have the heads promenade halfway as the sides do a right and left through. Now this is actually not basic, this is kind of mainstream, but, oh, we can't do that here, can we? No. Oh, I can't do I take it back. Go back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. We have to stick with basic. Oh, actually, I was going to do a flutter wheel. Is a flutter, flutter wheel is? Yeah, it's basic. Okay. okay, so if I have all four ladies lead, flutter wheel, do that. Pick up your man. Take him back home. But sweep one-eighth. So you have a diagonal square. Original heads up to the middle and back. Original heads lead to the right, circle to a line. We have a diagonal line of four. Anyway, lines up to the middle and back. Everybody square through three. Now I'd like you all to bend the line once and a half. You're home. I stole that. I stole that. Out and out stole that from... From Brian Clark. What's the name? Is What's there any, five anybody eights? who want to show some uh, choreography? Yeah. I got some. Ten what is that? Ten seconds. <laughs> uh, we still have ten minutes, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in my writing, uh, not only the uh, 
uh, Grand Square, new version of Grand Square, but uh, other ideas it included there. And the thing is that, uh, yeah, Jerry Story always use this, but uh, uh, diagonally, uh, diagonal box, do the right and left through, or something like that. Head uh, past the ocean, swing through, boy around, and then making a toothpaste line in the center. That's a quarter line. And then uh, diagonal box, uh, right and left through, front of here, or something like that. That point is that, that uh, keeping the footprint in the same place. But in the case of the. Sorry. Go ahead, finish your sentence. Uh, in the case of dive through, that's a, a little different. And the uh, center, a uh, couple make an arch and a dive through. Then the center, two face line will, will be uh, different. Handed. So the bend the line should be home, or something like that. That is uh, very frequently used by Jerry's story, I understand. And that is one. And. Uh, Uh, in Japan, there is one uh, good color, one of the best color, Randy Nord, uh, Ta Sam Tajima. He is kind of funny in uh, leaving the dancers without saying they are home or they are stud bucket and uh, preparing the next singing call. And the, the dancer don't know, looking out. And, 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 Suddenly, music stop and the car stop, and you know, then look around. Oh, we are home. <laughs> so you don't have to, in this case, uh, have in a uh, static square position, but uh, facing in. You can be. You can leave dancers. Which which direction they are looking at? It's okay. They were fine, finally. They, were, they, they are home or uh, back in the start. That is another idea. And uh, in the case, you know, maybe I can show you the example, but uh, you, you can create that very easily. And uh, when some Tajima uh, used that together with the American color in a big uh, uh, club uh, anniversary, uh, American color didn't know that that type of uh, way, and uh, finally, the idea was, you know, that the American colors pick up that picked up the idea, and started using that. <laughs> and the the thing is that uh, just a normal uh, square through three or pass through element that type of um, getting out very easy one, but. He, uh, the American color left uh, and just passed through, and without saying, Alman left, heads go forward and back. Sides, so oh, we have that. <laughs> you know, and without doing Alman left, if you face in and back up, they are home. So, that is kind of a uh, funny thing. The, the reaction of the dancers is very, very interesting. That's another idea. Randy Doherty, Mesa, Arizona. Doc, I, I'm wondering because I've been to Japan quite a few times, and the first few times I went, do you, as a club caller, teach the word diagonal because it's not uh, a square dance word? Diagonal is plain English to us here in America, right. but over there it's like if you said, you know, any none one of, of your numbers of, of ten. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, do you teach that non square dancing word? to your Japanese yes. basic dancers, you do? Yes. Okay. How about Nakaga-san? Uh, do, do you use uh, Japanese language? Not that many? Um, Double passage? Yes, we, we, we use half yeah. Both, both, both same. Yeah, we they try to understand, let the uh, Japanese people understand the English uh, command. But it's still. And next, for the explanation. So you say it in English and then you translate in Japanese first. Yes. Okay. Because when I, my first time over there, I, I was using a gimmick and I said, 
right. center men diagonally shake hands, pull by, yeah. and I had egg all over my face because they didn't understand, first of all, shake hands. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing, the diagonal, they didn't, they didn't know that. And when you got a hundred squares, they'll look at you and say, what did you say? <laughs> I was, I I've learned, you. only I use square dance words. Yeah, you teach me. Why did you Why did you I, I'm a Hiroshi Nakagawa, so no, no recording. Do you, do you have no, a Hiroshi Nakagawa just uh, gave us an uh, idea that, that you know, uh, we use both English uh, language uh, diagonally, and they, nobody, that's what don't understand. So we say, nanamini means nanamini. <laughs> nanamini, nanamini, nanamini. 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 None of you don't understand it. <laughs> 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 Nor me. No, no, not kind of a command. Yes, that's true. Thank you. Me neither. <laughs> uh, a quick question. Um, I believe that lead right is uh, a basic call, lead right? It is. Is it legitimate at the basic level or your mainstream level to have all four couples lead right? Yes. yes. Sure, why not? Sure. Well, because I was told it wasn't. It is. It is. There's nothing. So all four, from a static square, you could say all four couples lead right, partner trade, right. and just turn it back. Okay. Yes, yeah, Thank you. Not? Gordon White from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Thank you. Something else? Walt Burb, you know, Randy, I'll make it easy for you. When you come over to us, we also use the word diagonal, but it's diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> diagonal? Diagonale. <laughs> Sounds like an Italian sausage. <laughs> 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 Can you add extra cheese on it? Can I say any goblin? Okay, thank you very much. I think it's about time. And uh, thank you very much for coming in this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for my killer hand and a whole bar. Big hand to the, those uh, panelists, please. Thank you very much.